Welcome back to New Mexico Style. And now it's time for us to check in with Kristen Van Dyke, who has been at the University of New Mexico Children's Hospital all morning, where the Peaks morning team, Jackie, Tony, and Donnie, have kicked off a 36-hour radio broadcast to help kids who need a miracle. Hi, Kristen. Hey, Kristen. Hey, good morning. That's right. I was here earlier with Ryan. He's now upstairs with the rest of the crew from the Peak 100.3. And uh, they, of course, are on the radio, are really trying to get the people to come in, call in, go to the website and donate to a great cause. The money uh, that we're looking for is to go to the UNM Children's Hospital uh, to help pay for equipment and all the stuff there to improve the lives of these kids while they're in the hospital being treated uh, for different things. And I got to take a tour of it. Really cool stuff up there. And I also ran into some of the child life specialists when I was up there who work with the kids every single day. I have Marisol and also Jamie uh, from the UNM Children's Hospital who are going to tell me a little bit about what you guys do. Right, so um, Child Life um, mm -hmm. not only um, provides play and activities mm -hmm. and things for kids, but we also do a lot of education and support for procedures, um, surgeries, um, just a variety of different things they come into the hospital for. So we do a lot of education, and Jamie has one of our little guys here. Right, this can be a tough job because, you know, when you're talking to the parents and to the kids about what they're going to experience, it may be difficult for them to understand. So why is it important to have something like this? So this is our Sammy doll and we use it all the time and it's just really a hands-on um, example of what they're gonna see, what they're gonna um, experience themselves. Mm -hmm. So this is a doll that we use for kids with lots of different situations. Right. What we have right now is um, our port doll. So any of the kids that come in and get a cancer diagnosis and they're gonna need long-term access to get their chemo and their medicine, they'll be getting a port. So we take this to them to kind of in a playful way, show them what it looks like, what it feels like, and it just helps reduce some of the fear and anxiety that they experience while they're in the hospital so they know what's gonna happen to them. Okay, that, that is really neat because I bet it can guide get confusing, right? Right. Okay, cool. So that's just one of the things uh, that, of course, they, the money is going to go to when it's helping out the UNM hospital. And again, the Radiothon uh, with 100.3 The Peak is going to be for three days. Uh, so start, it started very early this morning, so you can help. Again, we have the website for you and uh, also that number that you can see right there that you can call to donate. And you can go to our website, too, for more information, casa.com, or feel free to even stop by here at UNM Hospital, and uh, you can see how things are going. And you can also uh, donate there too. And of course, we want to talk about the weather too uh, this morning. A little cold out there. Thankfully, though, the winds have finally died down. We had that big storm system yesterday and it dumped a lot of snow up to the north. Durango, one of the big winners, 31 inches of snow at Durango Mountain Resort. Unbelievable fresh powder for the skiers and the snowboarders there. Angel Fire, New Mexico, not too shabby. Uh, six inches of new snow there. And of course, here in Albuquerque, we just got nothing but the wind, but the winds have calmed down outside. It's just a lot colder this morning, starting off in the low 30s. As we head through the day, winds will pick up a little bit. It will be a tad breezy in Albuquerque, but out across the eastern half of the state, uh, we will be watching those winds get up to 20, 25 miles an hour. And with the dry conditions, that will mean red flag warning. So fire danger, uh, that's going to be the issue today. But the break we get from the winds today won't be long. We'll see a lot of sunshine today, mild temperatures, uh, topping out in the 50s in Albuquerque and down the southeast 70s. Tomorrow, warm again, but the winds pick back up again. So we're going to see those strong gusts again between 50 and 60 miles an hour for much of the east slopes of the central mountain chain and back east across the state. We have high wind watches already in effect that goes for tomorrow for the western high terrain and also for the eastern half of New Mexico. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that. What does it mean here in Albuquerque? Well, we're going to have more wind, but we will be watching for the chance for some snow up in the northern mountains. Your forecast now for the northern mountains for today. Uh, Santa Fe looking nice, still a little windy. Uh, we'll be watching for snow to move in Friday for the northern mountains. A slight chance that Santa Fe may see some of that. And of course, down in Albuquerque. Not a bad looking day today. Tomorrow the winds move in. Temperatures will be back up near 60 and then Friday a blustery wrap up to the work week and it will be chilly. Winds gusting to 40. Highs only in the 40s and this weekend looking nice. Lots of sunshine and Sunday uh, looking good. Highs near 60 without all of the winds. So again uh, this is going to be happening for three days so uh, come on out to UNM and donate. It really really goes to a good cause. Nikki. Thank you, Kristen. Thanks so much for being there this morning. And we want to thank all of today's guests. We had such a blast. And tomorrow on New Mexico Style, <laughs> Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony are searching Latin America for raw talent. We'll find out more about Que Viva the Chosen. We'll also meet a New Mexican who was chosen as a contestant on Let's Make a Deal. And we're cooking with superstar kid chefs. We love cooking it's with the kids. Sounds like fun. Right? It's yeah. going to be a fun one for us. And again, don't forget 
to watch American Idol. Did you watch it last night? I did. You did? They're amazing. Do you love DeAndre, the one who sang, The reason, the reasons <laughs> that we're here. We gotta get this girl on American I'm Idol. I'm too old, I'm way too old for that. But no, but he, he takes it up. I mean, I think that the boys were really good. I think the girls have a lot to live up to. And I think the judges are a little easy breezy this year. They're all like so complimentary. I didn't hear any criticism. What do you think? Well, I think it, it, pr it promotes creativity amongst the contestants. So Good maybe point. that might be something to do with it. Positive reinforcement. <laughs> we try to give that. Thank you all so much for joining us. Have a wonderful day. Take the sunglasses. It's going to be sunny yeah. out. Shockingly here in Albuquerque. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Watch Idol tonight.